take any footage from basic to cinematic. What's up guys, welcome back to the Filmstock channel. My name is Luca and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to turn any shot into this beautiful teen and orange look that we all love. Let's get into it. So here we are in Filmora 12 and we have three different shots with three different lightings, three different subjects, just to show you guys that this technique actually works with any shots. You just gotta know how to do it and when to do it. Let's start with the first one. The number one thing you gotta learn before even starting to color grain is remember to shoot in log if you can. Log profiles allow you so much more wiggle room in post-production when pushing color. So if your camera can, shoot in a log profile. The first step is always to bring back our image to a Rec. 709 look. Pretty much means that match what your eyes saw when shooting the video. We can do this by making a simple S curve with all the color curves right here. Play around until the level of contrast is good enough. Now, let's push this further by adjusting exposure, shadows, highlights, and white and blacks. I then increase vibrance and saturation just by a little bit. Then let's hop into the HSL, which is pretty much where you take every color to the hue that you want, the saturation or luminance that you want. And what we're gonna do is take every color, apart from blue and orange, and desaturate it by a little bit. Now, as you can see, your look is slowly coming to life, but what we need to Finish it off and have that magic touch is a lot. A lot is a look at table which pretty much tells you footage what the colors should look like. It's pretty much what a preset for photo is, but for video. I found this one cinematic pack from Filmstock that I think it works pretty good with mostly everything. So let's hop into our little tab up here and find the lot that works the best with our footage. All right, I think Cinematic 2 is my favorite when it comes down to teal and orange. So let's drag it on top and yes, right now it looks horrible. But one thing you should always remember when you apply a lot, it's pretty much never apply it to 100% opacity. Just slide that opacity slider down to 40 to 50%. And usually that's the magic number. And once you've done that, your footage should look pretty epic. Just remember that if it does look a bit weird, all you're gonna do is keep playing around with the S curve and the H cell until the color of your shot kind of match teal and orange look. Now, just to prove this, let's apply the same technique to the other two shots and see how they come out. Pretty impressive, right? If you guys have any other questions about color grading or teal and orange or LUTs, please do not hesitate to let us know below. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, as always. See ya.